Evidently, the faces on this thing are, are, are somewhat disturbing, you know, kind of my speciality there. All right, so uh, we're going to torque about this point, right? So let's go. This is a clockwise torque. All right, so 64 times G, and then that is, let's see, the 64. Two meters. Okay, so two meters from the left side. And then the beam itself is 43 times g, and the g is 9.8, not grams, but, but, you know, the gravitation constant, right? And then it's 7 meters long, so the beam is, the center of the beam will be 3.5 meters, and that's where we say the gravity of the beam acts, is at its center of gravity, right? That's why it's called that. All right, uh, and then um, this guy is standing a meter from the right side, but we don't care about the right side, we want the left side, right? So 7 minus 1 is 6 meters, right? So 52 G at 6 meters. And then this will be, these are clockwise, so it's positive. This is clockwise, so it's positive. Clockwise, so it's positive. And then this tension uh, is going to be, uh, it's going to cause an anti-clockwise torque, right? And then this tension is at <coughs> 7 meters, right? <coughs> Okay, so let's set up our torque. All right, torque is, let's see, clockwise, this guy, two meters. Okay, so positive two, the positive is because it's clockwise, right? Positive two times 64G. All right, pos plus uh, 3.5, formula being torque is RF, right? So R times F, right? So 3.5 is our R times uh, 43G. Again, the G's are, that's 9.81, 9.81. I'm just too lazy to write it, so I <laughs> write it anyway. All right, uh, let's see. Then this guy here is going to be plus 6 times uh, 52G. Then minus 7 times T is 0. All right, <coughs> let us solve that for T. Basically, I'm just going to go this times this times this, this times this times this, this times this times this. I'm going to divide by 7 and I'll get T. All right, 2 times 64 times 9.81 plus 3.5 times 43 times 9.81 plus 6 times 52 times 9.81. So that, divide by 7. 827.5, so the tension alright if you understood that you can hit stop but I'm just gonna go on and on because I, I love this stuff alright so so we know that this force is 827.5 newtons right now if we look at this side here this side here has got to also be lifting up, right? That hinge, really, all it does is exert a force straight up. Now, I know it's straight up because none of these forces are acting to the side. This is straight down, that's straight down, that's straight down. The force that cancels that in the y direction will be, of course, just straight up. And there's no, none of these forces act in the x direction. So there's really nothing to cancel out. Okay, so um, if I sort of hit erase here, and I know that this is... 827.5 newtons. I bet I could figure out what this force is, right? There's got to be an upward force, right? Um, acting there, right? And so the question is, you know, well, what is that upward force? Well, we can figure it out. We can set up a y expression, right? So I'll just call this F in the y direction, right? FY, <laughs> not FYI, but FY, right? So the force is up. We've got positive FY. This is just, remember, this is a, just a translational equilibrium, so we don't care where it acts, right? Uh, minus 64G, minus 43G, minus 52G, plus 827.5 is zero. Now, again, I'm doing something totally different here. I'm doing uh, forces, just translational forces. This is the weight of that person, the weight of this person, the weight of that. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the beam, and that's a person, right? And we know that that force has to be 827.5. The only thing we don't know is that upward force, right? So let's go, um, 
let's go 64 times 9.1 plus 43 times 9.81. I almost tried to divide again. Times uh, plus 52 times. <coughs> okay, and then I'm going to go I'll subtract the answer I just got. I think it's 732, so this guy has to be 732.2 roughly newtons. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's crazy. That's one way to find that force. You know the other way to find it is to set it up and say, okay, here's a force here, and then torque about this point. It's harder. I think torques are harder to solve than translation, so I tend to do it with translation, but there it is.